Hey, just wanted to share a funny story with you that happened to me. But first I have to explain. I've been having problems with my clutch and so like shifting in and out of gear was really sh stiff. I eventually got it fixed. Um, I couldn't get a hold of the mechanic I was trying to call and so I ended up going to another mechanic and they fixed it for free. It took like 30 minutes and it was pretty awesome because basically they said the only thing that was wrong was it was missing a bolt that held the I don't know held the clutch in place I don't know and so they fixed it and um, the actual labor took like 10 minutes I guess most of the rest of the time was spent trying to find a bolt that fit but anyway on to the story so I was having problems with my clutch and it was really stiff like I was having to force it in and out of gears uh, I was on my way to Fred Meyer and we live like a mile away from Fred Meyer so it's not that far I was stopped at a stoplight light turns green I start going and go to shift into second and the gear shift comes off in my hand I'm just sitting there like ah, I'm coasting through the intersection I don't know what to yeah yeah, what do I do? <laughs> Turns out it's not bolted on, it's not screwed on, it's not glued on, it's not welded on, it's just there's a black rubber base and then the gear shift is just a hollow metal tube that goes over it. And um, it's a tight enough fit that friction keeps it on. But since I've been having to force it in and out, it's gradually gotten loose and loose and loose until it came off. Yeah! So I was able to drive using just the, the little nub at the bottom. Um, I was almost to Fred Meyer, so I get into the parking lot, uh, put some water on it, put the thing back in place and start like pounding it back in. It goes back on, I'm able to drive it again, but yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> Seriously, ha like... If I hadn't been able to figure out to drive with the little nub, how do you explain that to the cars that are, like, stuck behind you? Like, normally it's like, sorry, I can't get my engine started, just go around. But this time it's like, sorry, I have no gear shift. <laughs> I can't change gears. I don't know. Anyway, in other news, um, Emerald City Comic Con is coming up, and I'm pretty excited for that. This is the first year I'm actually cosplay and I am almost done getting stuff together for a cosplay. First thing I need to get, or one thing I needed to get, is a haircut because this is too long and second thing I need to get is gloves, rubber gloves. On Friday I am going with a friend as Hands of Blue from Firefly and so I'm just wearing a suit and blue rubber glo gloves. We need to get those. Saturday I'm going as Jinx from Warehouse with another friend going as Claudia. And so I have a um, button up shirt that he would wear and then the Artifacts Roadshow shirt that they wore in one episode. And then I need to get the purple gloves. And she's got a um, Farnsworth that she built and the static bags that they use. And then Sunday, I'm going as Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes, and I've shown you that already. So, yeah. My hair's a little bit too long. Jinx's hair is really, really short and spiky, and Calvin's... In the comics, it's long, but it's spiky, and my hair is too long to do sp spikes without, like, tons of product. And so I'm just going to do a short spiky for both Jinx and Calvin. Anyway, that's it for today. Bye. I'll try to do more videos. I say this every time. Do I? No. <laughs>